Hey, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Um, yeah, I had an incident just happened to me yesterday. They had a scammer. They got you know scammers putting their little skimmer things on the on the gas pumps in the gas station. Yeah, they definitely caught me with it. I guess they must must have got my debit card information maybe the night before, but they basically wiped out my account yesterday. You know, I, there's a whole bunch of transactions. I'm not going to say the exact amount, but I, I'll just say it was less than $10,000 that they took from my account. Um, you know, anybody that knows me knows I'm not balling out of control. I'm not super rich or anything like that. You know, I'm okay, but you know, I'm not rich or anything like that. So, you know, they basically wiped my account down to zero. Um, the only thing I can do from this, you know, I just pretty much got a rebound from this situation. You know, I, I spoke to the, my bank the fraud department and you know we're speaking about me being compensated for it so hopefully you know i'll be able to get my money back you know it's, it's probably going to take some time all i can do is rebound for it you know fortunately i paid a bunch of my bills that i that would do you know i got other bills that's due but i'm i, I should be able to pay those that, that should be no issue or anything like that you know i know i rebound from it you know at the end of the day i'm still a hustler you know I'm, you know i'm not anything illegal but you know i'm still pretty much a bona fide hustle you know I'm, I'm i'm gonna find some money i'm i'm, I'm gonna take care of all that you know i know i rebound from this i've been in worse situations than this um you know it sucks you know i had i had plans you know as anybody who watches my channel knows that i was actually trying to buy a polaris slingshot recently you know they ran me in circles with the whole financing thing trying to make me put fifteen thousand dollars down on it you know i i wasn't doing that you know so i was still working on getting a slingshot out you know i decided that well instead of getting a 2021 i might just have to get a used one and figure that out you know i was working on that and i was also working on getting another vehicle but because like i said they wiped my account about out that's going to be on hold i'll still be doing some modifications on this vehicle probably not as soon as i was going to do them because like i said they took every dime that was in my account but you know like i said i'll rebound from it i ain't really stressing it i can't sit here and cry about it like a baby and then throw tantrums about it only thing i can do is keep pushing forward and hopefully i'll get reimbursed some if not all of my money by the bank you know through the fraud department hopefully it all works out you know but for th those of y'all out there be careful with this whole little gas thing this whole gas shortage thing they saying um you know people are just rushing to get to the pump to put gas in their car and you know the scammers are taking full advantage of it you know, it happens. It can happen to anybody. It happened to me. It can happen to you. So, you know, just beware. Be careful. You know, if you're going to buy gas, go pay inside. You know, don't pay at the pump because, you know, that's obviously how I got caught. You know, like I said, the, the fraud department people told me, they said, yeah, scammers are, you know, they, they said that they're getting a lot of calls about it. From my bank, they said they've been getting a lot of calls. And it appears there's that gas pumps because when I look at my, my um bank statement to see where they took the money at, the funny part is I'm in Georgia, but all the transactions where they obviously stole my credit card information happened in three gas stations. Well, I mean, where they're, where they're obviously taking the money out of my account, they're all transactions at gas stations. It's like like a bunch of them. You know, the lowest amount was like $28. The highest amount was like $89. So it's like they're, they're, they're using gas stations to take the money out of my, where they were using gas stations to take the money out of my account because it's a bunch of gas transactions back to back to back to back like all right behind each other all in miami i'm not even in florida i'm in georgia and i was like wow how'd that happen then the fraud department checked and they realized i was like look i'm in georgia you can see the last transactions i made on my card is in georgia how'd i get 900 miles away in to buy gas like a hundred times back to back in less than two hours like how many i don't own that many cars i don't think i'll ever own that many damn cars they, yeah, it was like about a hundred transactions, all at gas stations, like looking like you know they put gas in in a car. But how the hell do I put gas in like a hundred cars in less than like two or three hours? But you know that's what happened. Y'all be safe out there. Be careful. You know I'll recover from this. You know I'm I'm I'm, I'm upset, but I can't stress it but so much. But y'all just be careful out there. Be safe. Stay tuned. Keep stay tuned in for the channel. Stay tuned into the channel, man. I'll be okay. Y'all be safe.